Hello my friends, I am back and today I am going to teach you how to create this magical twisted tree because it was really hard to find a tree that uh, looks like the one that I imagine it I had to make my own tree so a great tip is to search for bonsai so in my case I use Adobe Stock for this particular scenario the easiest way to select this tree is uh, for me to use uh, magic wand tool I know all the other methods but this is the fastest so uh, I'm going to increase the tolerance to 34% something like that I'm going to click hold shift and add the other areas and then I'm going to hold alt and click on the mask it selected the tree really well but I don't need everything so I'm going to take the lasso tool, select the only the area that I want from this uh, tree, all right? And then I'm going to invert the selection by pressing Ctrl Shift and I and by holding Alt and Delete, I'm going to select only this part of the tree that I want. And I'm going to right click and convert it to a smart object. Then I'm going to edit and puppet warp. If you see the mesh, it's okay, but I don't use it, so I usually uncheck it so I can see better what I'm doing. So I'm just going to add some points that I will move and I will create another shape from this tree. So I'm just going to play around with this tree. I ended up having this uh, shape. Then to select this one, I'm going to use uh, channels and um, I'm selecting the blues, hold Alt to duplicate it and then press Ctrl and L and uh, make everything really really dark. After that hold Ctrl, click on the mask, select RGB again, go back to layers and here hold Alt and click on the mask and it will select the tree. And then with the brush tool and the black color I'm going to remove what I don't want and again right click and convert to a smart object and I'm going to drag it underneath the first one that I just created then I'm going to press Ctrl T and rotate the tree to have a better angle and then I'm going to add a puppet warp so edit puppet warp then add a mask and uh, remove the parts that uh, you don't want to keep I'll do the same for the one on top also and then for the tree on top, this one, I'm going to try to match the colors and the contrast with the one underneath. At first, I'm creating a levels to make it darker. And then I'm going to add a new layer, clip it inside, set it to color. And I'm going to switch to the soft round brush and the flow really low. And I'm going to paint with a color that uh, I uh, sample it from the tree underneath. Then I'm going to add uh, exposure, clip it inside, invert the mask and then I'm going to add some exposure on some parts of the tree by painting with a white color. Then I'm going to select everything and right click convert it to a smart object. I'm doing that because now I can add another puppet warp so uh, this is really great because you can uh, have as many smart objects as you want and now this uh, tree this combined tree can have a really different shape if I want and I want and uh, I'm going to drag again all the parts that I uh, want to move and rotate and when you're satisfied with the result just press enter and you'll have another twisted tree then the last one I'm selecting uh, this one using uh, the channels method again Let's drag this one also, let's right click, convert it to a smart object and because uh, this part of the tree is uh, bigger than uh, this one that I want to mix with, I'm going to double click and enter the smart object and uh, here I'm going to duplicate it by holding alt in case I need it again, I'm going to uncheck it and on the mask I'm going to paint and uh, make this part of the tree uh, smaller. Then I'm going to save this one by pressing Ctrl S and here I'm just going to uh, rotate it a bit to match the other one. And I'm going to duplicate it, drag it underneath everything, hold Alt on the mask and then 
I'm going to paint with a white color to reveal just uh, some parts. Everything that we have created so far looks like that and we have a really interesting tree. And drag this tree into your artwork. But if you want to see the full tutorial of uh, how I created this artwork from scratch, you should join my Patreon account where every month I post uh, full tutorials and tips and tricks and also I give feedback to monthly Photoshop challenges. If you want to see more high quality videos, please subscribe to my channel.